हेलो स्टूडेंट्स डी एट टेंथ क्लास स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर मैथ्स क्लास सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर स्टैटिस्टिक चैप्टर इन द थ्री सेंट्रल टेंडेंसीज वी कंप्लीटेड मीन एंड वी आल्सो कंप्लीटेड मोड नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग द थर्ड सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी दैट इज मीडियम सो दीज थ्री आर एक्चुअली नॉट न्यू you studied in the 9th class you studied about arithmetic mean you studied about mode you studied about median you studied the definitions and uh, you solved problems also in the 9th class so that is a, this is the continuation of that and uh, even uh, once again i am reminding everything so without uh, uh, the 9th class whatever you studied so i am not just continuing it so i even i am reminding the star whatever you studied in the 9th class also so students uh, this is a third central tendency uh, which is the last one and after that we have a one more simple exercise only on graphs so this is the uh, last central tendency that is median so all of you write the heading median median see every central tendency i explain for uh, ungrouped data and also grouped data ungrouped data means a raw data is given some collection is some collection suppose if you collect the marks of some 30 students in your class so you collect the marks and uh, write so that is ungrouped data and if you write it in the form of a systematic uh, table taking some class intervals and uh, writing the numbers Uh, number of uh, student number of students who got the marks in that interval so that type of a, a systematic table is called frequency table which is also called group data so every central tendency we we have to know how to find the uh, the value of the central tendency for ungrouped data group data so for mean i explain ungrouped data means sum of all the observations by number of observations you add all the given values by number of values that gives the mean or average or arithmetic mean that already discussed if a table is given i give the formula for uh, mean i give three formulas for finding the mean sigma fi into xi by sigma fi that is direct method and uh, next a plus sigma fi into di by uh, sigma fi so that is the uh, step uh, assumed mean method and i also explained the step deviation method next mode is whichever number is occurring more times that is the mode any number occur more times that is the mode and for group data also uh, we studied the formula and uh, yesterday we solved many problems on mode so now for median also i will explain how to find the median for raw data ungrouped data but problems are not given on that Uh, you studied in the ninth class, so and I will also give the formula for finding the median for a table, systematic table, frequency table. So uh, first, uh, don't write. So, uh, let let us revise uh, what you recollect what you studied in the ninth class. Suppose twenty five, twenty thirteen, fifteen, nine, ten, sixteen, three, six, eight, eleven. suppose this type of data is given ungrouped data raw data so how to find the mean for this how to find the median for this first arrange the numbers in the ascending order or descending order ascending means smallest to greatest descending means greatest to smallest any order you arrange let us arrange we are we follow any one rule so ascending let us take the ascending order smallest to greatest smallest is 9 next smallest next is 10 11 13 uh, 15 16 20 25 3 5 8 8 9 i will take one more say that so if raw data is given 
arrange in the ascending order so if you arrange in the ascending order smallest to greatest the middle observation is called medium that's all middle observation so middle means uh, which is the middle number say here middle observation is the median that is the procedure for ungrouped data which you studied in the ninth class suppose if you get two middle observations suppose uh, i gave one more number don't write this i will explain once uh, uh, afterwards suppose we have one more number say 40 in this case uh, we write 40 also then uh, three numbers three numbers two numbers two na uh, so total uh, uh, one two three four let us remove this four one two three four ah uh, we got two middle numbers numbers in this case median is average of these two middle numbers so 31 by 2 which is nothing but 15.5 so this process you studied in the ninth class if it is an odd number we will get one middle number that is a median if it is an even number we will get two middle numbers take the average of those two that gives the median so this process you studied in the ninth class and we don't have problems in this tenth class so but i will give some concept so you write down and after that we go to the uh, group data write down the heading median all of you write the heading median If, if the given observations, if the given observations are arranged in the, given observations are arranged in the Ascending or descending order. Ascending or descending order. If the given observations are arranged in the ascending or descending order. Then the middle observation. Middle observation, middle observation or 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 average of two middle observations, average of two middle observations. Average of two middle observations is its median. Is its median. Write down continuation. If, if an ungrouped data, if an ungrouped data contains contains n terms if an ungrouped data contains n terms arranged in ascending order if, ungroup, if an ungrouped data contains n terms arranged in the ascending order Then its mean, then its median is then its median is n plus one by two observation. If n is odd, this formula you studied in the ninth class, just I am reminding. We don't have problems on this in, in our uh, uh, syllabus. 
then its median is n plus 1 by 2 th observation if n is odd i average of n by 2 comma n by 2 observations write down this if n is even if n is even no sir n by 2 plus 1 if n is even n by 2 plus 1 the observation if n is even Now, I will give the form, I, I will give some examples on this. So, after, uh, before, uh, first let us write the group data formula also. After that, I will give the examples for this. If n is odd, we will get only one middle term, that is n plus 1 by 2, that is the median. If n is even, we will get two middle terms. So, n by 2 th term and n plus, n by 2 plus 1 th observation, these two middle terms. So, in that case, we have to take the average that I already explained in the example. Now write down for group data. Group data median formula. Write down. Write down median formula. Group For group data, median is equal to This is the formula you remember. This L is not the uh, sum, sum for the only numerator. This is separately plus. This total fraction is different and plus L. So this is the formula for L. So I will introduce all the values. What is N? I will introduce all the symbols. First write down. N is equal to. Write down. Sum of the frequencies. Write down what is N? Sum of the frequencies. Write neatly. Sum of the frequencies. Next. The class. Write down. Where n by 2 observation lies. The class where n by 2. First you write down and I will explain by taking the example. The class where n by 2 observation lies is called median class. Is called median class. Yesterday we, we, we calculated mode class. So I explained how to find out the mode class. Now median class. The class where n by 2 observation lies is called median class. L is lower boundary of mid lower boundary of median class. Right now. Lower boundary of median class. H is size of the class. Size of the class. Right on. F is frequency of the median class. N is sum of the frequencies and uh, then find the N by 2. Where n by 2 lies, it is called median class. 
and after that L is lower boundary of the median class. Uh, H is the size of the class that already we studied in mode and F is the frequency of the median class and CF, write down, CF, cumulative frequency, I will explain what is the meaning of this, cumulative frequency of median class, cumulative frequency of median class. Cumulative frequency of median class. So write these symbols. Now I will give an example. Right now. So remember this formula. Find the median of, write down, find the median Write down based on this model but just to remind you uh, what you studied in the ninth class so solution right now arranging the given arranging the given observations in the ascending order arranging the given observations in the ascending order arrange them in the ascending order smallest to greatest Arranging the given observations in the ascending order. Uh, what is the ascending order? What is the smallest number? 10, 12, 15, 17, 18, 20, 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 6, uh, 30, 35. See here. When un raw data, ungrouped data is given, how to find the median? Arrange them in the ascending order, smallest to greatest. Then middle, if it is odd number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 3, 6, 8. 3, 6. Let us take odd number first. Then I will explain for the even number. First odd number. So, if it is a odd number, then middle observation is the median. Middle observation. What is the middle observation? The 17 is the median. Or, I give this also. n by n plus 1 by 2, when n is odd. What is n here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 plus 1 by 2. 7 plus 1 is 8 by 2 is fourth observation. What is the fourth observation? Fourth one. 1, 2, 3, fourth one is 70. We don't, we don't use this formula. Just the middle one you write that's all. Otherwise, uh, if you use it, you may confuse. So, middle observation is the median. That's all. If odd number of terms, 3 terms, 5 terms, 7 terms, 9 terms, 11 terms are given. Arrange them in the ascending order. Middle observation is the median. Or just now uh, I, I gave this introduction also. n plus 1 by 2. n is number of terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms plus 1 by 2. 
7 plus 1 by 2 fourth. Fourth observation from the beginning. First, second, third, fourth is the field. Write up. Write this example. So, this is the procedure for finding the median for raw data. Next. One more example. Do this problem. All of you do this second example. Example 2. Do this. Students, do it and get the answer. Tell me the answer. Solution. Arranging the given observations in ascending order, smallest to greatest. Ascending order, smallest to greatest, 10, 12, 15, 17, 18, 20, 22, 30. Yes. So what is the median? See here. Median is average of two middle observations. Which are the middle of this cancel, this and this, this cancel, this cancel, this cancel. Middle observation 17, 18. Two middle observations we got. Total 35 by 2 which is 17.5. Is it correct? This is the median. Or I give some rule. N by 2, N by 2 plus 1 the terms average. N by 2 term. N by 2 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 by 2 is fourth term uh, n by 2 plus 1 that is uh, n by 2 is 8 4 plus 1 fifth term so what is the fourth term here 1 2 3 fourth term is 17 fifth term is 1 2 3 4 5 fifth term is 18 so median is average of these two, 17 plus 18 by 2, which is 35 by 2, which is 17.5. We apply this method only, but this is uh, in the form of a rule I explained. So if n is even, find n by 2 term, n is totally 8 term. So 8 by 2 is 4th term. What is the 4th term? 1, 2, 3, 4, 17. n by 2 plus 1. 4th plus 1, 5th term. 5th term is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5th term is uh, 18. So, average of these two, median. So, median for ungrouped data. When odd number of terms is given, I explain. Simply middle one. If two middle terms are there, take the average. So, this is the procedure for the median you studied in the lower classes. Now, if table is given, how to find the median? So, be careful. So you have to learn perfectly because that is our uh, syllabus uh, important model, very very important model. So all of you open the textbooks. So instead of giving the example, I will directly start the exercise. So in the exercise only, I will explain the problem. Students, all of you open 350 page number, 350 page. 350 page. Page number 350, exercise 14.3. So total 7 problems. Ah, see here. First I will see some problems are based on finding the mean, median, mode. 
And which already we studied mean and uh, more lot of problems we practiced. Again, you may feel bored. First, I will select the problems having only medium. First, let us practice it. After completing the, uh, if you want, again, I will go back to mean, medium, more problems. So, so that you will get some revision. See here. Uh, in this, First, I will solve fifth one first because only median problems I will solve first. After that, uh, mean mode also include in few problems because we have to find all the three for a given data. Anyway, yesterday only we practiced many problems on mode and before that we practiced many problems on mean. So you may feel bored. First, let us practice only median problems. First, I am doing the fifth problem. All of you draw the tear. Uh, frequency table, write on the fifth one. Class interval frequency. Fifth problem. Students, all of you write the fifth, fifth problem. 1500 to 2000. Write down this fifth question, all of you, and I am going to explain how to find the median for the table, group data. 1500 to 2000 frequency is 14. 2000 to 2500, 56. 2500 to 3000, 60. 3000 to 3500, 86, 3500 to 4000, 74, 4000 to 4500, 62, 4500 to 5000, 46. 400 uh, neon lamps. So find the median of this data. Find the median. The class intervals are uh, 1500 to 2000, 2000 to 2500, 25 to 3000, 3000 to 3500, 3500 to uh, 4000, 4000 to 4500, 4500 to 5000, 14, 56, 60, 86, 74, 62, 40, Eight. Students, this is the table you copied from the textbooks. Fifth question of our exercise, 14.3. First step I will explain. First, this table is given. First step, first step is cumulative frequency. Write down. Cumulative frequency. We have to find the cumulative frequency. Write down the next heading. First heading is class interval, next heading is frequency, next is cumulative frequency, write down. Cumulative frequency heading. Cumulative frequency means adding the frequencies, cumulative means sum up to that point. Cumulative means Adding, adding, adding up to that point. Again, adding up to that point. Adding up to that point. That is the meaning of cumulative. Cumulative means sum up to a particular point. See here. First observation is 14. Up to here, we have 14 observations. After that, in this class, we have 56 more observations. So, total up to here, 14 plus 56, we have to add. Up to here, how many observations? 
up to here 14 and 56 are added total 60 70 70 14 plus 56 is 70 again adding cumulative means up to that point we have to add 70 plus 60 is 130 adding 130 plus 86 is 216. Is it correct? Two one six plus seventy four. Two one six plus seventy four is two nine T. Two nine T plus sixty two. Three fifty two. Two ninety plus sixty two is three fifty two. Three fifty two plus forty eight is four hundred. Adding the frequencies from top. First up to here we have 14. Up to here how many? 14 and 6, 56 are, are there here. So total up to this class, what is the cumulative frequency? Cumulative means total. Cumulative, total up to that point. So 14 plus 56, add these two and write here 70. 70 plus 60, 130. 130 plus 86, 216. 216 plus 74, 290. 290 plus 62, 352 plus 48, 400. Like this we find the cumulative frequency. Now don't write anything. You just stop writing and look at here. First problem you see after this you can complete the exercise. All same model, no change. See here. First we have to find sum of the frequencies. And all these frequencies, sum of the frequencies generally written as sigma f. But here n symbol is used in this formula. So we have to follow the same. So in, in uh, other two, in case of mean, mean and uh, mode, we use sigma f from the sum of the frequencies. But here sum of the frequencies is n. So add all these 14, 56, 60, 86, 74, 62, 48. If you add this, this only you will get. So 400 you will get. You add this. See here, don't write. Don't write n is equal to 400. Then find n by 2. n by 2 is 400 by 2. 400 by 2 is 200. Where the 200 lies, that is the median class. Deciding the median class is very, very important. Yesterday and day before, in the last two classes, I explained how to find the modal class. Modal class means wherever highest frequency is there, that is a modal class. That was very simple. But here a little bit confusion. So where this 200 lies, that is modal class. Ah, see here, 200. Here in this cumulative frequency, we have to see. Up to here, 14 only. Up to here, 70. Up to here, 130. After 130, 216, up to 216, there will be here, in this. So, after 130, up to 6, 216, the observations will be here. So, 200 will lie in this. Here, it is only up to 130. 131, 132, 133, up to 216 will lie here. Where does 200 lies? 200 will lie here. This is the median class. This is the median class that you have to understand. Over. If you decide the median class, all the symbol values we write and we apply the formula, substituting the values in the formula, we will get the answer. So how to decide the median class? First add the frequencies, same value we will get. Divided by 2, we are getting 200. Up to here 14 only, up to here 70 only, up to here 130 only, 131, 132, 133, 199, 200, 201, 202, up to 216, up to 216, we will get in this. So our value is 200, 200 lies in this uh, here. So the class 3000 3, to 3500. So 3500 which is the median class. Which is the median class. Next, see here, n is 400 already, 
See the symbol, see the formula. Just now I gave the formula, no? In that, what are all required? What is the formula for uh, median? Just see, look at the formula. Look at the formula. N plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H. That is the formula I gave. So see what you just read out what is L, what is H, just read. I gave the introduction. L is lower boundary of the median class. See here L is lower boundary of the median class. 3000. See there is a difference between lower limit and lower boundary. See, if this 3000 same is repeated here, then there is no confusion. Lower boundary, lower limit will be same in all the previous first exercise, 9 problems, last exercise, 6 to 7 problems, all, almost all we may have completed more than 15 problems. There was no confusion because boundary and limit in that case is same. So, 3000, 3000. Suppose if there is a difference, then how to find the boundary, I will explain uh, if, if, if such problems arise. So, lower boundary is how much? 3000. Uh, so L is over, N is over, uh, F, F is the frequency of the median class, F is 86 frequency of the median class, frequency of the median class, H is size of the class, 3000, 3500, what is the difference, 500. Difference 2500 minus 2000 is 500. What is CF? CF is, remember this, CF is little confusion. CF is the cumulative frequency above the, just uh, below this median class. So this is CF. This is CF. Cumulative frequency below the medi median class, just below the median class. Cumulative frequency, not frequency, cumulative frequency, CF. That's why CF, cumulative frequency below, uh, just below the median class. So, 130. In the formula also you write down, CF is equal to, in the formula also you write down. In the formula you write down, CF is equal to. Cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Preceding means immediately lower. Preceding the median class. Succeeding means next. Preceding means before. Before. Cumulative frequency of a class preceding to the median class. Substitute all the values in this formula that gives the median. So, this is the median procedure for group data. Complete exercise you can do only when there is a difference in these values. So, how to find the lower boundary? You may get some confusion. We don't have much such problems in, up till now. So, in this exercise, uh, there may be one, or one problem on that model that I will explain. But for all the remaining, so this is the procedure class interval and frequency will be given. So, keep on adding the frequencies from the top. This is up to here 14. 14 plus 56, 70. 70 plus 60, 130. 130 plus 86, 260. 216 plus 74, 290. 290 plus 62, 352. 352 plus 48, 400. And all the frequencies that is 400. Divided by 2. 400 by 2 is 200. Where the 200 lies, that is the median class. So up to here we have 14 only, up to here 70 only, up to here 130 only. 131 onwards it will lie here, 131 to 216. So our number is 200, so therefore our number will lie here, which is 3000 to 3500, which is called median class. So in that, lower boundary is L, 3000, and the frequency is 86. Next, size of the class is 500. Next, above this, the cumulative frequency is 130. Substitute in this and get the answer. Substitute here and get the answer. All of you substitute. Yeah. 
Anybody got the answer? L is 500 L is 3000 mm. plus N by 2 is 400 by 2 substitute the values Cumulative frequency is 130, frequency is 86, size is 500. Do it. 200. Seventy We can cancel with the two table Cancel with the two table You cancel with the two table or uh, otherwise uh, you can It is better to cancel with two table. One more step you write. Do the division. This is not sufficient. So take 0 and take one more digit. If you want, after decimal, you will get one more digit exact like this. After uh, 0, this is uh, 86 very near. So, 9 times 9, 6, uh, 54, 5, 9, 8, uh, 72, 77. Four zero six point nine eight approximately. So thirty four three four zero six point nine eight. So this is the procedure for median. Very simple. Only this division you know. This is not a new thing to you. You are doing the division since sixth class onwards. So but decimal. If you are keeping one decimal, we have to take zero. So after that nine times seven seventy four. One more. After decimal means keep on taking one zero, so one more digit. See, after decimal you can stop with one digit or maximum two digits, that is sufficient. So two digits I am taking, that is enough. Or because it is greater than very near to 100, so if you remove we can break, take it as 407 also, if that approximate answer is given, no, that is also correct. So exact is 4306.98, this is the procedure. Followed or not? Understood or not? Tell. Students, did you follow or not? See, 
Directly I started fifth class, fifth problem is don't get confused and uh, each and every problem I am solving even from our previous two chapters also which we completed each and every problem I solved. In this also I will solve all the problems but first problem is we have to find mean, mode, median. Already we, we solved many problems on mean, again repeating the same you may feel bored. Uh, first, let me complete only median problems. After that, I will explain that problem also. All uh, seven problems I am going to solve and uh, I am going to simplify each and every step. I will explain. So, no confusion in that. So, this is the fifth problem. You practice it. Tomorrow, we will go for the remaining problems. Uh, if you have, uh, uh, if you want to do something, then you can do sixth one. You can try the sixth one in this. So remaining I will do tomorrow. Sixth problem you can try. Sixth you do. Students, after the live classes, do the sixth problem and get the exact textbook answer. Sixth is again mean and all are uh, asked. Okay. You only find mode. Uh, sixth and seventh you can try. Only median you find. Mode is also asked in that. Uh, that uh, we will do later. Six, seven, just practice it and how to find the median. So substituting all the values, this is the answer. And uh, you once check it and remember the formula. And even I explained for uh, Ungrouped data also, of course, that is not in our, uh, prop. We, we don't have such problems, but even just I reminded you, which you studied in the ninth class. Uh, ungrouped data, how to find the median? I gave two examples and a group data for the frequency table, how to find the median? Uh, we solve one problem with all the steps. So now you may be familiar with the finding the median, but anyway, tomorrow we will go for uh, some more problems. You will get a lot of practice. So thank you students, have a nice day. So understand up to here and uh, you have uh, 